All right, Shalom, Israel. All praises to Abinawa Yahweh, by Hashem, Mashiach Much love to the saints in Yahweh Shai and all the sisters waking up in righteousness. All right. And um, this video is pretty much going to be um, going in on uh, what happens when uh, you die. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like going into that pretty much, but. I'm not going to go too much into it, but I'm going to um, read a couple of verses, and I'm going to start at Job chapter 7, verse 1. It says, Is there not an appointed time to man upon earth, right? It's time for you to live. It's a time to die, like it says in um, Ecclesiasticus. I mean, not Ecclesiasticus, but Ecclesiastes. Are not his days also like the days of an hireling? As a servant earnestly desireth the shadow, and as an hireling looketh for the reward of his work, so am I made to possess months of vanity, and wearisome nights are appointed to me. When I lie down, I say, when shall I arise? And the night be gone, and I am full of tossing to and fro until the dawning of the day. My flesh... Is clothed with worms and clods of dust. My skin is broken and become lawsome. Right? Talking about the body breaking down. Because Job knew uh, that he was going to die. Right? And uh body to be decomposed and, and uh, worms cover him. Right? That's why I said his flesh is clothed with worms. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle. And are spent without hope. Right? Meaning very quick. It says, oh, remember that my life is wind, man. All right, so your life is nothing but a vapor, man. All right, the Lord can uh, evaporate you like wind, like it's nothing, man. All right, remember that my life is wind. All right, my eye shall see no more good. All right, so if, if he was just going to die and go to heaven, why would he say his eyes shall see no more good, man, if you die and go to heaven? All right, because in heaven, there's plenty of good stuff up there, man. All right, you have Yahweh Akai, which is good, you know what I'm saying? So, Job knew he wasn't going to die and go to heaven. He said his eyes shall see no more good, All right? The eye of him that have seen me shall see me no more, all right? So... Job said the people that was looking at him, they wasn't going to see him again. All right. So if you reincarnated back in the earth, all right, people should be able to see you in the spirit. All right. If the spirit bears witness, right. If you, if, if reincarnation is supposed to be real, like a lot of brothers say it is. So you should know who, who's who. All right. If the spirit bear witness. All right. I know, I, and uh, I know Brother Sarah said, oh, well, Brother, uh, the scripture says there's no remembrance after death, right? Why is that? Because you go to a place of rest, man. You ain't coming back, all right? Because if you was coming back, you would be able to tell who's who, all right, by their works and by the spirit, because the spirit bear witness, man, all right? It tell you in Malachi, you supposed to be able to discern between him that served the Lord and him that served not. So if somebody was uh, somebody that served the Lord, you, you might be able, you should be able to tell who they is then. Or if Adam, like people like to say, uh, everybody who's reincarnated, if Adam came back, or Cain or whoever, man, or Hezekiah, or if Solomon's back here today, you should know that brother Solomon. So we know that it's, it's all garbage, man. All right, because you got Israelites that think that they're. Uh, reincarnated people man you know what i'm saying even you know i had to say even one west man they thought they thought they was the 12 disciples uh they thought king david was came back man all right when peter said uh david sepulchers with them to this day and peter said uh let me go to it real quick slacky peter said that uh david ain't a sin in the heaven man let me get that let me get that in acts it's acts chapter 2 verse 29, man and brother, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulcher is with us unto this day. So they were saying they could go see uh, David's tomb, man. All right. Therefore, being a prophet, 
And knowing that God had sworn an oath to him that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he would raise up Christ to sit on the throne. Right? He, seeing this, spake of the resurrection of Yahweh. Let me go up now. It's like it. All right. For, uh, Acts 2 and 34. For David is not ascended into the heavens. So if you die and go to heaven, why did Peter say David is not ascended into the heavens, man? Because if you die and you ascend to heaven when you die, why didn't David ascend into the heavens, man? All right, so let me go back to Job 7. Job chapter 7, verse 9. As the cloud is consumed and vanish away, so he that goeth down to the grave shall come up no more. Right? So you're not coming back, man, up out of that ground. All right, now, some people was able to do it by the mercies of the Lord as a foreshadow of resurrection. But on a multitude, it's not happening until the resurrection comes, man. All right. He that goeth down to the grave, man, shall come up no more. You're not coming up in a new body, man. That's bullshit. All right. He shall come up no more. Job 17. He shall return no more to his house, man, right, to, to a, a body, right, or your old body, right? Neither shall his place know him anymore. Therefore, I, I will refrain my mouth and I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. All right, it's lucky. Now, let me get another one. I'm going to get Job 14 and uh, 5. Seeing his days are determined. The number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Right? Meaning the time, it, uh, it tell you that you can't resist the spirit. No man have power in the day of destruction. Turn from him that he may rest till he shall, till he shall accomplish as a higher than his day. For there is hope of a tree if it be cut down that it will sprout again. And the tender branches thereof will not cease. And the root thereof wax old in the earth. And the stock thereof die in the ground. Yet through the scent of water, it will bud and bring forth bowls like a plant, right? Which you, we, we're accepted by accepting the Lord's living water. That's how we're going to be reincarnated. I mean, not reincarnated. That's madness. I meant uh, resurrected. Salaki. See, that's Satan, brother, trying to put this reincarnation madness, man. All right? Hinduism, man. All right? We're not dealing with Hinduism. We're dealing with resurrection, man. All right? To hell with reincarnation, man. All right? Well, who the hell is Cain, man? Did, did Cain reincarnate? Or did, did uh... Peter never taught that, uh... That he was King David either, man. He said David's sepulcher is with him unto this day, man. So how can uh, Peter be King David? So it's madness, man. It's like it. It's like it, Israel, about that slip of the tongue. I'm talking about uh, resurrection. I mean, reincarnation. See that? I'm trying to slip my tongue out, but, uh... Yeah, man, it's resurrection over reincarnation, man. I'm pushing resurrection. The apostles wasn't teaching reincarnation. They were teaching resurrection. All right. But man dieth and wasteth away. Yeah, man giveth up the ghost. And where is he? Right? So when David died, where was David? Peter said David does not ascend into the heavens, man. All right. He wasn't uh, dead in, uh, up there with Yahweh when he died. Right? Because people don't even know it. Tell you, uh, David said, if I make my bed in Sheol, Shawal, the Most High's presence is still there. Don't you know the eyes of the Lord is everywhere, man? So you don't have to literally go to heaven uh, for the Spirit to be in the Most High's hands, man. All right? You can be on earth and you're in the Most High's hands. So, like, come on, man. All right, let's go back to that. It says, uh, Job 14 and uh, 10, the man dieth and wasted away. Yeah, man giveth up the ghost. And where is he, right? So when Cain, when Abel, when Cain killed Abel, where was Abel at? Huh? And that's the point of this video, right? I'm going to go down to verse uh, 12. So man lieth down and riseth not till the heavens be no more. So a man is not going to rise from the dead, right, until... The heavens be no more, man. They shall not awake nor be raised out of their sleep. So they're not going to be resurrected until the destruction of this uh, world, man. All right. 
Verse uh, 14. If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. Right? And what's that appointed uh, that appointed time? That's the resurrection, man. That's when his change will come. Not being re reincarnated as a little baby and you don't know who the hell you are. That's some silly nonsense, man. All right? And then you got guys talking about some. you're going to be reincarnated in the kingdom. So you're basically saying... That uh, all the words of the Lord don't mean shit, man. And Yahweh Shai said, He that have my words and keepeth them, him and it has loved me. Yahweh Shai never said about no Israelite being reincarnated as a baby in the kingdom. He said, If you don't uh, repent, man, you ain't getting in the kingdom, man. So how can a man not repent and then get in the kingdom? It makes no total sense, man. All right. So if you don't have to keep the commandments and you could just be reincarnated in the kingdom, there's no point in even teaching. There's no point in doing sit down lessons. There's no point in even uh, hitting the byways. If all we got to do is be reincarnated to be to uh, make the kingdom. That's madness, man. Yahweh said, if you don't come through him, man, you're, you're a thief and a robber, man. There's no other way, man. So how can somebody that don't accept Yahweh be reincarnated in the kingdom? And a nigga that blasphemed the Holy Ghost, and he's going to be reincarnating the kingdom. It said you don't have no forgiveness, man. So how are you going to make it into the kingdom? It's foolishness. All right. What did it say? But man dieth and wasteth away. He giveth up the ghost. And where is he? All right. So let's go to uh, Genesis 4 and 9. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass when they were in the field. Cain rose up against Abel and his brother and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? So when Yahweh was asking Cain, Where is Abel? He said, I know not, and my brother's keeper. Right? So if you die and go to heaven, why is the Lord asking Cain, Where is Abel at? Alright, because the Lord didn't see Abel on earth. Alright? And he didn't.